Good afternoon, Dean Davis and AliveWeatherBlogs.com meteorologist here. Afternoon outlook. We're going to take a look at the storm that is going to be moving into the east. We currently have a blizzard in the Midwest. We'll go over that also. The first take a look at temperatures currently in the Roanoke Valley. Freezing in Roanoke. 25 in Blacksburg. 34 in Bluefield. 30 in Galax. 23 in Lewisburg. 28 in Hot Springs. 28 in Staunton. 25 in Lynchburg, 27 in Danville, 27 in Martinsville, and nationally, 44 in Seattle, 62 in Los Angeles, 37 in Salt Lake City, 40 in Santa Fe, 18 in Billings, 22 in Minneapolis, they have a blizzard currently happening, 30 in Chicago, winter storm watch is in effect, 51 in Kansas City, 57 in Dallas, 53 in New Orleans, we may actually see severe weather, we'll go into that, 42 in Atlanta, 40 in Louisville, 66 in Miami, 36 in Washington, and 27 in Boston. Current radar locally. We have precipitation now near Charlotte Courthouse, Farmville, south of Lynchburg towards Danville. This is from the coastal part of the storm, and the other storm is out to the west, and I'll show you that. You can see the precipitation out to the west. That's going to be moving in towards Roanoke, and we have some of this precipitation here to the east with this low developing off the coast, some energy forming that the moisture is going to push into the Roanoke Valley combined and with the orographic lift actually give us more rain. We may actually see some sleet pellets mixed in in that area. But that's just a little bit of what we're going to see this afternoon through the day on Sunday. National picture, you can see we have winter weather advisories, or winter from watches, excuse me, and advisories here along the mountains, the Appalachians, to the west. And we have the blizzard warnings here in Iowa, Minnesota, Wisconsin, North Dakota, and parts of Nebraska. Fire weather watches down here in Texas, and flood watches here in the Pacific Northwest where the Pineapple Express is coming in. Let's take a look. First we have this low on the coast. It's pushing it back towards Virginia. We also have this low here near Wisconsin, which is bringing the blizzard in and the strong moisture fetch in, which may lead to some severe weather here in the far southeast in Dixie Alley, and then some rain here as we go along the next couple of days as the thing progresses to the, to the east and combine to get some heavy rainfall in the area straight through Monday. Some snow may come into the back, snow, sleet, freeze, snow and sleet may mix in towards the back of this and definitely anybody who lives on the southern facing areas of the Great Lakes is going to get some lake effect snow starting next week. Such as Indiana, you're going to get wild, wild this time. And some warm air penetrates itself into New York which may cause some freezing precipitation and wind will be the part next week. And we now have a tornado watch for parts of Mississippi and Louisiana as this front moves to the east. We may see some tornadic activity occur. So definitely see this coming here with a slight risk area. We have the warm moisture out of the Gulf, some turning with the wind to the height with a strong low pressure that you can see in Iowa. So with that all combined, we may see some tornadoes in Mississippi place we don't need it is Yazoo City, which has gotten three tornadoes within the past year. Rain mix with snow over the next two days. No accumulation likely. This is the rain mix. Might get a little cold tonight. And you might see some slippery spots, so be careful. Slight chance show on Monday. So 33 tonight, 41 Sunday, 23 Sunday night, 28 Monday, 15 Monday night, breezy windy and sunny on Tuesday, 27, 32 on Wednesday. So stay with LiveWeatherBlogs.com for the latest information, and we'll have another update for your overnight outlook. For LiveWeatherBlogs.com, this is meteorologist Zine Davis. Have a great one.